Electronic Music Studios London Limited EMS is a synthesizer company formed in 1969 by Peter Zinoviev, Tristram Carey and David Cockerell, based in Laddick. Founders The founding partners had wide experience in both electronics and music. Cockerell, who was EMS' main equipment designer in its early years, was an electronics engineer and computer programmer. In the mid-1960s Zinoviev had formed the electronic music group unit Delta Plus with Delia Derbyshire and Brian Hodgson of the BBC Radiophonic Workshop. Carey was a noted composer and a pioneer in electronic music. He was one of the first people in the UK to work in the musique concrete field and built one of the country's first electronic music studios. He also worked widely in film and TV, composing scores for numerous Ealing Studios and Hammer Films productions, and he is well known for his work on the BBC's Doctor Who, notably on the classic serial The Daleks. VCS3 The company's first commercial synthesizer, the VCS3, designed by David Cockerell, was produced in 1969. It was developed in the basement of Zinoviev's house and was nicknamed the Putney after the London suburb where he was living at the time. M's original aim was to create a versatile monophonic synthesizer that would retail for just £100. While this proved unattainable in practice, the company nevertheless succeeded in manufacturing and selling the VCS3 for just £330, less than its nearest American competitor the Minimoog which originally retailed for $1,495 when released in 1970 and far cheaper than Moog's modular systems, which cost thousands of dollars. EMS also released the DK-1, a velocity-sensitive dynamic monophonic keyboard controller for use with VCS3, this included an extra VCO and VCA and retailed for £145. The DK-1 was nicknamed the Cricklewood after the London suburb where Cockerell lived. EMS used to have a R&D department based over a DIY shop in Cricklewood Lane, Cricklewood, London, so that could have influenced the name of the mechanical keyboard. It is not widely known that EMS electronic equipment was mostly made by another company Hilton Electronics based in Wareham, Dorset. The VCS3 consisted of three voltage-controlled oscillators VCOs, a noise generator, two input amplifiers, ring modulator, voltage-controlled low-pass filter, trapezoid envelope generator, voltage-controlled reverberation, level meter, two output amplifiers thus providing a stereo output, and a joystick providing X and Y modulation control. A distinctive design feature of the VCS3 and later EMS systems was that, rather than using patch cords to route audio and control signals between modules, Cockerell employed a small matrix plugboard patchboard into which the user stuck special conductive pins that connected an input listed on the x-axis of the matrix to an output on the y-axis. This matrix plugboard gave the VCS3 a high degree of interconnectivity, comparable to that of much larger modular systems, and far greater than similar small synthesizers like the Minimoog. It was also much easier to examine than the tangle of patch cords used to interconnect other modular systems of the day, such as the Moog modular synthesizer and was many times smaller than the cumbersome Moog patch bays, which used patch cord leads capped with one quarter inch phone jacks. A live performance version, the VCS-4, was built later the same year but was never put into production. It comprised two VCS-3s side by side with a keyboard, mixer and signal processing in front, all in a single wooden cabinet. Although EMS lost track of the instrument in 1983, it has survived and at last report was known to be in the United States. The company's next project, the Synthi KB1, designed by Cockerell, also never went into production. It featured the same synthesis modules as the VCS3, but housed in a horizontal box casing, with a 29 note mini keyboard controller and two small built in speakers. Only one prototype unit was built and this was subsequently sold to the progressive rock group Yes. Synthi 100 
EMS moved into direct competition with Moog in 1971 with the development of its first large-scale modular synthesizer, the Synthi 100, which originally retailed for £6,500. This unit was first known as the Digitana. Another was later dubbed the Delaware. After Delaware Road, Maida Vale, the location of the BBC Radiophonic Workshop. Mounted in a freestanding console cabinet, the Synthi 100 was the third development level of the original VCS3, being in essence 28 VCS3 units by circuit board count. It was driven by 12 VCOs and 8 VCF oscillators. Featured a built-in oscilloscope, two 60x60 patch bays, two joystick controllers, dual 5-octave velocity sensitive keyboard controllers and a 10,000 clock event with 6x6-bit six D.A. outputs. E.g. 256 duophonic events, 512 CV events digital sequencer. About 30 units were built by EMS, and these enjoyed wide use in the 1970s and beyond. One model was sold to the BBC Radiophonic Workshop and was used extensively on BBC productions including Doctor Who, Blake's Seven and the original radio version of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The sequencer module of the Synthi 100 was also made available as a separate unit, the Synthi Sequencer 256, which originally sold for £1,100. Synthi A, Synthi AK, Synthi AKS During 1971 EMS released a portable version of the VCS-3, the EMS Synthi A, originally called the «Portabella», a pun on London's Portobello Road. Built into a compact Spartanite attaché case, this unit was even cheaper than the original VCS-3 and retailed for just £198. The following year EMS released an expanded version, the Synthi AKS, which retailed for £420 and featured a sequencer and a small keyboard built into the lid. The first 30 AK units featured a black and silver touch pad, a spin and touch random note selector and a resistive touch sensitive keyboard. These original keyboards proved difficult to use, so they were subsequently replaced with blue capacitive touch sensitive keyboard with integrated sequencer and became known as the K's version. The Synthi AKS proved very popular and AKS units owned by Eno, Pink Floyd and Jean-Michel Jarre featured prominently in music by these artists in the early 19 70s, one of the best known appearances of an AKS on record is the track, On the Run, from Pink Floyd's The Dark Side of the Moon, 1973, and it can be seen being used by Roger Waters and David Gilmour during the recording of the album in footage included in the first director's cut of Live at Pompeii and in the DSOTM episode of the BBC documentary series Classic Albums, respectively. Gilmour used his to demonstrate the sequence used in the song. EMS synthesizers in music and the media EMS synthesizers and their London studios were used by many prominent rock and electronic artists including Pink Floyd Metal, Obscured by Clouds, Dark Side of the Moon, Animals, Wish You Were Here, The Who, Won't Get Fooled Again, BBC Radiophonic Workshop, Brian Eno and Roxy Music, Tangerine Dream, All Early Albums, Hawkwind, Tim Blake, Jean-Michel Jarre and Kraftwerk and David Vorhaus, White Noise 2. As noted above, the Synthi 100, Delaware, owned by the Radiophonic Workshop, was used extensively for BBC radio and television productions in the 1970s. The EMS Synthi High FLI analog multi effect processor was used extensively by Tony T. S. McPhee of the Groundhogs and was used on the album Solid in 1974. Footage exists of them live at the Marquee Club in London and it is clearly visible on its stand on stage. This footage was broadcast on the Old Grey Whistle Test in 1974. In late 2010, Zinoviev put his original Synthi A synthesizer, serial number 4016, up for sale. This instrument, which he believes was the one featured in the Every Picnic Needs a Synthi 
Press advertisement, was fully restored by Robin Wood at EMS. EMS equipment can be seen in the 1978 British horror film The Shout starring Alan Bates, John Hurt and Susanna York. The equipment featured includes a Synthi sequencer 256, a vocoder 2000 and a VCS3. The film is available on DVD Network 79527630. The equipment was loaned to the Rank Organization by Dartington College in Devon, and the featured Synthi sequencer 256 was recently sold on the Vintage Electronic Musical Instrument Auction VEMIA website in April 2011. <laughs> Timeline of major products 1969 EMS VCS3 1971 M's Synthi A 1971 M's Synthi AK 1971 M's Synthi 100 1971 M's Synthi Sequencer 256 Digital Sequencer 1972 M's Synthi AKS 1973 M's Synthi High FLI Multi Effect 1974 M Spectron video synthesizer formerly Spectre 1975 M Synthi E 1976 M Vocoder 5000 1977 M Vocoder 2000 1978 M Polysynthi polyphonic synthesizer 1979-1980 